Good. And we've got our table. It's got input, we've got output. The input is 9, 7, 3.5 and minus 2. And the outputs are... I'll read the question to you and you read it back. 626 times 0. 626 times 0. 3 times something equals 33. Three. So we're going to start with our counting. We're going to count in zero, we'll count in fours, and then we'll count in 0 0.4s, and then I want you to do fours with the times table. Okay, so we'll start in fours first. 32, 36, 40, 0, 0 0.4, 0 0.8, 1.2, 4s are 8, 3, 4s are 12. Last week, not last week, yesterday, uh, we talked about our learning for this week. So this week we are moving on and learning about algebra. And I'll discover today, we've got our two friends here, and uh, one of them says, one frog, four legs, and two frogs. We are timesing by four, we are timesing by the number of legs each frog. So there's four pieces of vocabulary that we're going to use today. I'll say it first, you say it back. Pattern. Pattern. Sequence. Sequence. So, we talked yesterday and I reminded you about this. These are called function machines. So this is our robot. Something happens. A number comes in here. Something happens inside. And then some, the new number comes out on the other side. So, 12 times 3, tell me. 36. 36. So n, we use n to represent any number, okay? It can represent any number. And Thank mm -hmm. you. 